Peace down. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC where we answer all of your questions, concerns, and comments. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about something that is going to help many of you business owners uh, be able to get funding much easier than if you did not know what you were doing. Now this is re specifically in regards to business credit but you can also use it for personal loans and personal credit as well. And we want to let you all know that there are steps that you should take before this um, which you can find on, on our website www.credithealing.org forward slash business credit but for those of you who are ready to start to obtain uh, funding for your businesses this is going to definitely help you and what we want to talk about today is how to go about getting funding from your bank and there's, this is very very important for you all to know and there are three steps alright so the first step to getting funding is before you even go in to apply um, and, and get funding what you typically want to do is you typically want to get to know your bank tellers um, and those who actually work at the bank prior to going there now this is why because you want to start to build a relationship with them so before you go you want to start to build a relationship you want them to get to know you um, and the reason why is because you want them to go to bat for you once you go and, and apply for this particular business loan, personal loan, or business and personal credit cards. And you want them to be able to fight for you. Now, once you spend about a month or so trying to get to know these particular individuals who work at the bank or the credit union, then you want to go in and you want to apply. Now, once you go in and you, and you go and you apply for it, you want them to... I guess feel a little bit more humanized. You don't want them to, you know, to just go in. You don't want to go in and say, "Well, I want to apply for this and apply for that." You want to get to know them. So when you go in and you say that you want to apply for the business credit cards or um, personal credit cards or loans, um, you want to tell them, you know, you want to look around the room, see something that's very relatable, right? So if you see pictures on their desk, you know, ask them about your children, uh, about the children. Say, you know, so how, how many children do you have? Okay, yeah, you know I have children too. Um, get to know them, you know. So you want to ask them about hobbies. Um, you know, what do they do outside of uh, the the business? Or you know, ask them about things that are personal um, that'll get them to say, you know what, this is a really good person. I want to really go and and help this person be approved because I mean I like them. And when you get people to to like you, that's how you win and you gain influence. Um, over them when you're trying to basically get to your desired goal. You don't have to be mischievous, you don't have to be fake or anything like that, but you definitely do want to be relatable and not just go in um, for the business credit cards or, or business loans. You want to actually make them feel you heart to heart. Feel free to laugh, you know, feel free to joke. Um, you know, things like that is going to help you along the way. Now, Remember these particular things because once you go and you you know and you open up a bank account, you get a credit card, etc., you're gonna have to go back some time. Sometime you're gonna have to increase your, your credit limit, right? So remember those particular conversations that you've had with them because that's gonna be very, very important the next time you see them. Okay? So I want you all to be able to understand that. So ask them, as I said, ask them about hobbies, ask them about the children. Um, get to know these things because they're going to want to know that well if this person is nice to me and kind to me I want to be able to assist this person to be able to achieve their goals look I'm telling you it works we've done it we do it all the time um, we tell our client our business credit clients this um, and this actually has worked for them because we know and understand the game and how it works alright so that's just a little prerequisite to when you're going and you're applying for a loan, um, what you're going to do. Now, we do want to say this. Prior to getting a loan, sometimes and many times it's actually good to open up a checking account first. Okay, so when you open up a checking account, you can actually get to know the person then. Now, if you go and you apply for a checking account, then there are times when you can actually um, apply for a credit card or loan at that very moment. If you don't think that is that you're ready to go and apply for these particular things, wait. You know, after you open up your checking account, you can still do the same thing. 
you know, ask them about, you know, their hobbies and, and, and what do they like to do if they like to bike ride or look around the room and, and kind of see, kind of scope it out and then talk to them on a human to human basis to find out what they like and what they do so you can be able to obtain things that you're trying to, uh, to achieve. Okay, so first, open up a checking account if you don't have one already. If you do have one, uh, you you know you can actually go in and you can apply for the business credit cards or business business loans. So we want to say that this is one of the ultimate secrets to go in and apply. Now there are other things as well, such as your business credit score, right? Your Paydex score. They're going to look at this because once they send to underwriting, the underwriters they're going to look at this. Sometimes they're going to be a personal guarantee on these particular loans or business loans. Because if they want to, you know, if they're going to lend you money, they want to find out what are you what are you doing on the personal side. So most times when you're applying for business loans, there will be a personal guarantee, and you do have to have a minimum um, credit score before you even apply. Typically around 660, uh, six, around 660 FICO score as a minimum to be able to be approved um, for the higher limit uh, credit cards and loans. Um, so you don't want to have a very low credit score when you apply. Now, if you're going to apply for a business credit card, many times and most times there is not a personal guarantee. And what a personal guarantee is, is that basically your personal uh, credit will not be, it will not affect your business credit. So they're not going to pull or even consider it. They may pull it sometimes, since, such as like larger banks, such as Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, uh, Bank of America, etc. They they may pull it. But once you get approved, it's not going to appear on your personal credit report, which is good. Therefore, once you run the credit card up, most likely you will if you're making business investments, then what will happen is that it's not going to count to your debt to credit ratio on the personal side. Now, it will be on your, per on your business side, but it's not going to necessarily affect you because they understand that if you're going to have business credit cards and business loans, you're going to most likely spend that money for business investments so you can get income from that. All right, family, so if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. And if you also want to start to build your business credit, please go to www.credithealing.org forward slash business credit. Peace.